Hi, my name is Clinton Rogers, Applications Engineer with DLP at Texas Instruments. Today we'll step through how to get started with your DLP NearScan Nano, the evaluation module for ultra-mobile near-infrared spectroscopy solutions. The video will specifically focus on providing instructions on EVM use cases, configuration and sample scans, and other GUI features. The NearScan Nano utilizes an embedded processor from TI, the TM4C129 family, known as TIVA. Throughout the video, I will reference to this as the TIVA. The DLP NearScan Nano supports three operating modes, USB connection, Bluetooth connection, and standalone mode. For USB connection, power the device through the USB port on your computer and use the GUI to initiate scans, configure parameter settings, and download data. The PC GUI displays the intensity or absorbance of the scan. For Bluetooth connection, use the iOS app to enable the same GUI features like taking scans, downloading and displaying data, and changing the system parameters. Refer to the user's guide for battery specifications for a complete wireless option. In the standalone mode, the NearScan Nano can also be pre-configured through the PC GUI or the Bluetooth iOS app. Scans are initiated through the scan button and data is stored on the onboard SDRAM or micro SD card. The stored scan data can be later downloaded to a host PC through USB or Bluetooth connection. For the first scan, we will use a micro USB cable. Connect the cable to the USB port on the bottom of the processor board. Upon execution of the NearScan Nano GUI executable, the software checks for the DLP NearScan Nano EVM to enumerate through USB and displays the information screen. The GUI is divided into two sections. The top section shows the connection status button on the right hand side that displays the connected state of the DLP NearScan Nano EVM. The light will turn green when the EVM is properly connected. It also has three GUI navigation buttons. Information button for status and help, scan button to display spectral data, and the utilities button for system settings. The lower section displays information related to the three buttons, information, scan, and utilities. The information screen displays version information, the EVM image showing the location of the buttons and their functionality, links to online resources, and presence of micro SD card for importing scan data to the PC. To take a scan, a scan configuration must be created at first. A scan configuration specifies parameters of a scan, including wavelength range, number of patterns, number of scans to average, and smallest desired spectral resolution width in nanometers. Note the NearScan Nano is optically designed for minimum resolution of 10 nanometers. The GUI allows smaller resolutions to be selected. This is for future customer-specific optical designs with narrower slits. To create a scan configuration, click on the New Edit Export Import button in the Scan Control box to invoke the Scan Configuration dialog box. The Scan Configuration dialog box has three sections. The top left section displays previous scan configurations saved to the PC. The top right section displays the scan configuration saved on the DLP NearScan Nano EVM. The bottom section displays the scan configuration parameters of the selected PC or DLP NearScan Nano EVM stored scan configuration. Click the New button on the top left section of the Scan Configuration dialog box. Then type the desired spectral range between 900 and 1700 nanometers. Select the width in nanometers that corresponds to the smallest wavelength content that you want to resolve. Enter the desired number of wavelength points captured across the spectral range. Enter the number of scans to average for corresponding back-to-back -back measurements. Enter a configuration name and click Save. Close the Scan Configuration dialog box by clicking OK. Once a scan configuration is selected, define a reference by scanning a reflective reference standard, then click on the Set Reference button. After these steps, place any material at the sample window and click Scan in the Scan Control section of the GUI. This will display the absorbance plot of that sample. To display previous scans, click on the Scans button under the Texas Instruments logo. 
a subwindow will pop up displaying the previous scan stored in the PC. The files are stored with the name of the scan configuration appended with the date and time of the scan. Selecting one of the files and clicking on the display spectrum plots that file. Click on the hide button to hide the subwindow. The utility section displays sensor data such as battery voltage, ambient temperature, detector temperature, ambient humidity, HDC temperature, and the TIVA internal temperature. You can also view the TIVA firmware update tool, TIVA's hibernation module date and time, DLPC 150 firmware update tool, and the detector board's PGA setting. The DLP Nearscan Nano EVM includes three hardware buttons, reset, wake, and scanner Bluetooth. The reset button performs a hardware reset of the Nearscan Nano system. The wake button will wake up the system from hibernation mode when it is in standby mode. Upon wake up, the green LED will pulse on and off. The scan Bluetooth button performs a scan when pressed. During a scan, the yellow LED is illuminated and the lamps will turn on for the duration of the scan. When held down for more than three seconds, the Bluetooth subsystem powers up and advertises a connection. While a Bluetooth low energy connection is advertised, the blue LED will turn on. When a Bluetooth low energy connection is active, the blue LED will pulse on and off. The blue LED pulsing is independent of the green LED. If you choose to use Bluetooth connectivity features, you can run the iOS app and click on the scan button at the top right of the screen. This will establish a connection with the DLP Nearscan Nano. The Bluetooth icon on the top right of the screen will flash. Once the DLP Nearscan Nano establishes a connection, the blue LED will pulse to indicate that the connection was successful. For more questions on DLP Nearscan Nano operation, go to ti.com forward slash tool forward slash DLP NIR Nano EVM. Thanks for watching.